What is up guys? The Sephora sale started today, November 1st. I'm bringing you guys along for my little shopping trip. We're gonna do a little vlog and stick around and see what all I picked up today. I thought if there's any good swatches or just anything to point out to you guys in the store, I could bring you along. So I am currently in the parking garage at my local mall and we're gonna go do some Sephora sale shopping. I'm trying to keep it low by today. Wish me luck. All right, so if that interests you, come on along, stick around, and let's go shopping. All right, guys, there's times I'm going to have to do a voiceover like this because I don't want to get copyrighted from the music in the store. But we have the Huda Beauty, the new Icy Nude palette. And of course, I had to swatch it up. This was number one on my list. I've been wanting it since I started seeing some of the looks with it. And here is a gorgeous swatch. Okay, I went down looking for Patrick Ta and they don't have the eyeshadow duos here yet. So I won't be able to do the Patrick Ta duos, which I wanted to do and swatch for you guys. Next, we moved on to the Dior section. So several things I've had my eye on here. You might know by now I'm kind of a Dior girl, but what I ended up throwing on my list here and had in my cart are the foundation sticks. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a little while, so I'm going to do some swatching and see what's best for me. I don't know about the N5, which is neutral. I'm thinking maybe neutral four. Okay, this was four in. I think it's too dark. I'm 3.5 in, so that one almost looks darker, doesn't it? All right, I also wanted the contour sticks. So there's four different ones. I'm gonna see if, what I think about this one. So the first shade here is like a cocoa cool tone contour. The next one is medium, so that may be too dark for me. Okay, we ended up going with medium after all. Then I had the eye on the Sol de Janeiro travel set, going back and forth on that one. But guys, I've always wanted the Pretty Grunge palette, and here it is. I'm going to try. There are swatches of the grunge palette. And then we've been talking about Sephora advent calendars and some of the Sephora favorites. These are all just fantastic deals, different samplers and things you can try, especially in fragrance if you're looking for gift ideas or want to just try out different things. Here's the mini keels we talked about as well. Y'all must help me resist the temptation. I really want one of these glass ones and I love the floral one the most. Okay, I cannot help myself. Oh my lord. No, that's not as pigmented as I thought. Here are the my makeup by Mario swatches right out of here. I may have to get it. Ugh. Then I had my eye on these Say Trio blush sets after I saw my friend Amanda's channel. She got me wanting them. And then the Glow Recipe, some different gift sets as well in those, and some other gift ideas, just bundles of things I figured I'd point out. I'm not seeing the new Patrick Ta um, eyeshadow duo, so I won't be able to give you guys a tour of that one, unfortunately. But does he have the new foundation? Here is the new foundation. I do want to check that out. Check out the 10 neutral on me. We'll see how that goes is on my skin. It looks pretty hydrating, I gotta say. Um, there it is on the tattoo. I mean, I wouldn't say like full blown, full coverage, but very hydrating. There it is all blended in. Um, it looks okay. I guess I'd have to try it out on the skin. I don't think it's going to be a super full coverage one though. And they don't have any of the replica. I was going to pick oh, up the replica advent calendar, but I'm going to go ahead and sniff while I can. So we're going to do a sniff on the fireplace. Ooh, I like by the fireplace. That is really interesting. What's in that? Burning wood and chestnut. Interesting. And then um, the beach, beach walk, definitely a solar for sure like you know by the beach as you'd expect it's okay but i like the fireplace one and then let's try um what was the other one i was thinking of lazy sunday morning yeah i don't think i like lazy sunday morning as much it's supposed to be like soft skin and bed linen 
I don't know. It's a little too chemically, but I like by the fireplace, I think. So I'm glad I got to try these before I just went and like grabbed the whole advent calendar. I think that it would be better to just get exactly what I want. Let's try Joe alone too. I'm looking at orange blossom. I'm so wanting some of these. All right, mission complete. I did not stick to my low buy. Spent about two hundred and twenty-eight dollars after the discount. Not as bad as some some years. Sometimes I'm spending up to five hundred, so I still wasn't like too crazy, but I definitely spent more than I meant to. And of course, we're gonna do a little Chick-fil-A for dinner. It's always gonna have Chick-fil-A. All right, guys, we are back in the car. I'm going to show you all the damage. That is a tiny little bag for how much we just spent, wasn't it? I really didn't get that much. See everything aside, but I will show you what all I came back with. I was deliberating, thinking through it. Didn't even run the numbers in my head. I just was like, let's just roll the dice and see how much it all costs. So we did get the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. I'll open her up for you and just share for just a moment, but you can probably be expecting some kind of video, like a review, some looks, what all we wanna do with her. She's beautiful. I couldn't resist, and with it being her last, like, full palette, which I don't understand why, I real this was number one on my list once I got there. At first I was like, I don't know, and then I started seeing looks and the colors from it, and I was like, I want it for winter time and for the holidays. I also broke down and went ahead and got Makeup by Mario, the Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette. I wasn't really that interested in this one at first, um, but I haven't been able to find the original one other than like way overpriced on Amazon. And so this seems to have elements of that original one. So I thought, well, I might just get it. Um, and it's not like I won't enjoy the cooler tones in it too. So here is the new Makeup by Mario palette as well. Expect a review on that one too. Stay tuned for all of these. We'll be playing with everything. I'll either do one big try on of the Sephora haul or each individually, we'll see. Okay, I did pick up the Say, however you say, um, however we pronounce that, uh, the little mini trio. It's like $30 for this cute little set and I have just been really wanting to do say blush and I haven't done it yet and I thought, well, it's the little deal here and with the sale, let's try it. So we're gonna test these out too. And then I got my Dior. So we did the foundation. Wait, is that the foundation? Ooh, I can't see in here guys. We're in the parking garage, so not very good light for you. I'm sorry Yeah, so this one's the foundation stick, so we're gonna try that I've just heard such good things and I've been wanting this one since it came out and then I have been wanting to do the contour stick as well I did end up going with the medium, so we're gonna see how it works on my skin tone But that's everything I put back all the fragrance um because I only liked like one thing as opposed to everything in their sets. So I didn't feel like it was that advantageous for me to get a set of anything or the advent calendars. Um, but I was able to do a lot of sniff tests. So I was glad that I was in store. Um, they also did not have any, they don't have Westman Atelier at my Sephora locally. It's only online through Sephora. So still got my eye on a few Westman Atelier things. They've actually got the Blush Trio set that is um, like a holiday set and it was completely sold out on Westman Atelier site, but it's available online in Sephora so far. So I'm considering grabbing that too on the sale. And then they also did not have the new duo eyeshadows. And that's the one I really wanted to play with in store and really see and swatch for you. So that's a bummer. So those are kind of a couple of things I may possibly go back for. And there's another thing I've been wanting to do with Westman Atelier and that is their complexion drops. That might have to be another haul, we'll see. I've already spent a good bit. Now I will, just to share your idea of like what your savings were here, I did have, um, I spent like $228, I think, 
but originally it was going to be $2.98. It was about to be $300. So right there, I probably saved 70 bucks. So I saved 70 bucks by doing it on the Sephora sale. So, you know, 20% off for Rouge is not the best sale, but it's like you go grab everything that you want while, while you can get it for 20% off, you know? So super fun. Thank you for coming along with me. Make sure that you stay tuned for all of the try-ons of these goodies. And if I go back for anything more online, we'll see. I don't know, I probably need to behave. This is not a low buy if I keep going back. We'll see. So stay tuned and see what Cher does. Let me know what you've picked up on the Sephora sale. I'd love to hear. And make sure you stick around if you love my vlogs, my shopping, my sales tips, my try-ons, my reviews, unboxings, all that fun. You'll wanna pop that subscribe. I'm your BFF shopping buddy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.